Calvin Knot. So we're going to start, as always, with our collar flipped up. We're going to take our tie, and there's a seam on the back side of all ties. And for this particular knot, the seam is going to be facing outwards. So the seam is here on the outside, and the finish side of the tie is here on the inside. Okay. Now this knot takes a little bit more fabric than uh, like a standard four in hand, so you're going to want to make your wide end slightly longer than usual. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our wide end and we're going to pass it underneath our narrow end to make an X like this. Then we're going to hold on to our narrow end, pull it out from our shirt front just a little bit, and pass the wide end over top of it just like so. And then switching hands, we're going to continue to hold on to the narrow end and pull the wide end underneath just like this. Then we're going to switch hands once again. And this time we're going to take two fingers and place them along the narrow end, just like so. We're going to take our thumb and we're going to pinch the back side of the knot. And so it'll look like this. Now, the reason why we're doing this is so that we can pull the knot away from the front of our shirt because we're going to pass the wide end of the tie through this gap. Okay, so we should be set up like this with our two fingers laying across the narrow end and our thumb in the back. Cross the wide end over top of our two fingers. Then take your hand and put it underneath. Grab onto the wide end of the tie and we're going to push it up and through that gap, just like so. Okay, so you should be like this with it coming out of that gap. We're going to take the very end of our tie. And we're going to give it to these two fingers, just like this. Then we're going to take our hand and we're going to grab onto that loop and pull our fingers down and bring the tie with it. Now the knot's finished. We just need to dress it so that it looks nice. So we'll do that by pulling down on the wide end and then once it's dressed and just about the right size we're going to take a hand and put it on the narrow end and just hold it steady there take our other hand and put it around the knot and simply slide the knot up towards the button of our shirt just like this and might give it a little dimple in the front okay Flip our collar down and take a look at this. And that is how you tie the Calvin knot. It's a very nice medium sized knot, about halfway in between a four in hand and a Windsor. Okay, guys.